This viral mystery box is sold out everywhere, but I got my hands on more of them to unbox. This is Mini Brand's newest series called Mega Gross Minis. For those of you who don't know Mini Brands, they make miniature versions of known products, whether it be different kinds of foods, Disney figurines and tiny toys, and so many more. We've done so many different kinds of unboxings of Mini Brands, so I will leave a link for a playlist down below. However, However, today we're going to be unboxing five more of the Mega Gross Minis. In the previous video, we unboxed five other of these mystery boxes to unveil some of the weirdest collection of gross items. If you want to watch that video, I will also link that down below. But basically the concept of this is that you get a parody of a known product. One of the examples is we got a Bug Burger instead of a Burger King. And you can see even the logos are very similar when we put them side by side in this video. And many of you told me that the Santa Ooze logo is supposed to be for the Santa Cruz for the skateboard. So I really do appreciate many of you grains educating me in the comments. I love reading your comments. And don't be fooled, each one of these is $20 Canadian, which means I bought 10 of them so they were $200. But today we're going to do $100 worth. And the super limited edition for this product is the stinky version. Yes, there's a version in here that's supposed to be gross and bad smelling. So let me know in the comment section below, do you think I'm going to get the extra rare version or not? I'm hoping we do. I kind of am curious as to how bad it smells. I'm very sensitive to smell, so I want to know, am I going to go like, bleh? Or am I going to be like, not bad, I, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> My nose has sniffed many things. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and click on all notifications while you're there. Otherwise, this sharp pointy thing will be waved at you. So do it. Join, join us. Click the notifications. Just do it. <laughs> I know that many of you greens are like me and you absolutely love dragons, which is why I'd like to talk about today's sponsor, Dragon City. For those of you who don't know Dragon City, it is a free-to-play mobile game available on all devices. And essentially, the game lets you build your own dragon, dragon empire. empire. Whether it be on floating islands, farms, habitats, and other kinds of buildings. And there are well over a thousand different types of dragons, whether be different elements such as earth, fire, wind, and even different kinds of rarities. And yes, look, there's even a Mariah Elizabeth dragon. How adorable is she? In addition to collecting your dragon types, you can even combine them to make new dragons. So you can breed over a thousand different types. And once you hatch your eggs, adorably as you can see over here, you can go ahead and feed them to watch them evolve. And of course, if you want to make your dragons more powerful, you can train them and teach them new attacks. That way you can bring them into battle. So what are you waiting for? Check out Dragon City with my link down below as well as the pinned comment or conveniently for you, here's a QR code, to get a free special starter pack. And with that, you can get a special bundle with 15,000 food, 30,000 gold, and the very rare black metal dragon to get you started. So if you're looking for the game to keep you relaxed and entertained at the same time, definitely check out Dragon City. Thank you, Dragon City, for sponsoring a portion of today's video. So let's go ahead and start and remove these ones over here. So in case this is your first video, that's okay. We're still going to go through how this box or this mystery box is different and where it's a little annoying. So as you can see here, it says Mega Gross Minis, but it also tells us that there's over 36 to collect. And each one of these balls has five surprises. I didn't want to say the word <laughs> Don't take me out of context. It's a spear. It's a ball and it's a mystery ball. It is what it is. They do claim that they're the grossest toy ever. However, they're very much similar to Garbage Pail Kids. And so many of you in the previous comment section said that you do remember them. And some of you even say that you do collect them. And the idea is that they take known brands. And again, it's a parody. So they make fun of it and make it gross. So. You saw nothing. So let's go ahead and unbox. Here we go. Oh, that was a nice pop. Oh yeah, I like that. Yes. So the first thing that we see, so we have other surprises in here, but we do get three surprises in a bag that looks like a garbage bag, essentially, which is very nice and on brand. And it says Mega Gross Minis. And in here we have the two other surprises. So the first one is a, <laughs> it's 
this one. It's a sticker. And I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be a parody of Doritos. So let's put the Doritos logo right next to this one. So you can see it here side by side. It's supposed to be chips. And one of the things that we found out in the previous video is that these are actually glow in the dark, which was an accidental surprise. So we're going to do a glow in the dark reveal of all the stickers at the end of the video. And the other surprise that comes in, which I don't consider a surprise because it's exactly the same in every single box, is a slime. And the slime is more akin to a bit of an ooze type texture. So let's go ahead and open it. And you can see here, this is what we get on the inside. Yes, very booger-like. Let's get this, come on. Oh my goodness, yeah, that is very booger-like. A bad allergy day, oh my goodness, there. And it has a wet texture to it, but it does not stay sticky, so that's a good thing. So this is what it is. And it has no scent, which is very much so welcome. In the previous video, I also complained that there were no containers for the slime, and some of you said just leave it in this container. That's, you're using all of this for this. So I'm going to leave it in here for 24 hours, and let's see if it stays nice and mushy, or if it dries up. And then over here, we have the catalog of all the different items. So we have all of these over here, and we have two panels in the back. So as you can see, the super rare are moldy minis. So these are supposed to smell bad. So we have the cup noodles and the hamburger. And then the toxic glow rares, which I'm guessing is just glow in the dark. And these are the glow in the dark rares. So if you're curious if we got any of the rares in the last video, make sure that you do watch it. And as you can see from this extensive list, we can get a little bit of everything from household items to different kinds of foods. And they do mix it up with either some ooze coming out, some bleh coming up, and then sometimes there's different different critters or monsters coming out of it or just absolute grossness. And I have to say for this video, I'm particularly hoping to get the Pokemon because it's basically a Pokeball but shaped into poop. I wouldn't say no for the Goritos. I know it's new to me, but I kind of want it right now. And I have to say that the version of their Campbell soup called Scumball Soup is kind of piquing my interest. Let me know in the comment section below which one do you hope that we get in today's video and whether or not we got it by the end of the video. And let's start seeing the actual surprises. We should be getting three in here. So we have one, two, three in our garbage bag. And let's start with this one. What do you give us? Oh, this is new. Oh my goodness. We have sewers, once you try rat, you never go back. What is that? Sewers rat pie oven fresh from the drains of New York. Look at the art on this one. What the heck? That is hilarious. I actually really like this one. I didn't notice this design, but I love the derpy face on the rat. And look at that. There's a rat bum right in the back and the tail is super flexible. You know what? This is probably one of my favorite surprises. I didn't know I wanted this. And we can't see the non-nutritional servings over here because it's hidden by the rat. And it's really hard to read over here, but if you want to pause and zoom in a little more, we're gonna zoom in extra just for you in case. But it is actually hilarious. It's too bad we can't read it too well because they put a lot of effort into this and it's really funny. Actually, it's right here too. So if you want to read it, go ahead and pause. We've just freeze framed it the second it came into focus because it's really funny. And then, oh, these are all new. What? The, oh my goodness. These are all new. Last time we got a few doubles, so I'm hoping this time we don't get as many. There's a little pizza, real pook in every slice. Papa Vomitos. Bon appetit. And uh, let's let's go ahead and, and open it. Just let's take a look at some of the details. Oh, that is so gross. Look at the images here. So we have Papa Vomitos. We have the different toilet, the faces puking together. Let's see the back. Okay, this is the pukey rating. Oh my goodness. Okay, here you have the non-nutritional facts. We have peas and carrots. This is so gross. Pineapple minus one. Yo, hey. Don't you make fun of people who don't like, who like it. If they want the pineapple and the pizza, they can have it. Nothing's wrong with that. All right, let's look at the inside and it is, oh no. We have eyeballs, we have bugs, we have some toppings. Let's get a little closer. We have a little fly over here. So the eyeballs are a little bit of a 3D kind of effect. I'm surprised they went with brown eyes. I would have expected maybe different colored eyes to give a more eerie type effect, but this works too. So it seems like we have pepperoni and bugs on there. It doesn't look half bad, to be very honest. And then we have more of the art on the box itself. Now, just in case you're wondering, this is not made out of paper. 
it's fully plastic. But you can definitely open and close it as you wish, like a so. So far, this is probably one of my favorite unboxings. And the next, oh, we have our first double. So here we have a sick talk parody for TikTok over here. It's basically just a phone with some ooze around it. And yes, in case you're wondering, it does sit very well. So if you want to put it in your office on your desk, it works. Next one. Can we get a good pop out of this one? Yes. Again, we have our first surprise, which is not a surprise, which is a slime. And then we have, oh no, we already have this sticker, which is another Bug King, which is supposed to be Burger King. Again, here they are side by side, just for your own reference. And let's get our surprises out. All three are here. Oh, that is tiny. What is that? That is really small. I mean, they do say good things come in small packages, right? I'm only five foot tall. Am I a good thing? It depends who you are. You know what, we'll keep the little one for last. I think this might be a bottle or something, so we'll keep it for last. And these two are big enough. So let's see what we have. Is that the laptop? Please tell me that's the laptop. I was actually looking at, I kind of want all of them to be very honest. Ew, it is the laptop, no way. That is pretty nasty. Let's see the back here. It says it's an iPoo. Look at that. These are nasty, but they're so hilarious. Oh my God. So the screen is a little bent, but I'm pretty sure we can fix that. But look at that, we have a toilet paper and a poo coming out. This is pretty cute. Does it sit? It's a little wonky, but it wouldn't look too bad on your desk, so don't worry about it. I'm sure people at the office will enjoy this. <laughs> I like it, I like it. And it's cute, it even has the little detail over here. Over there. I'm trying to, let's look beyond the poo camera. <laughs> the camera's like, I wanna, I wanna focus on the poo. It's so gross. Look at that, and the keyboard is indeed a QWERTY keyboard. So it's, it's pretty standard keyboard looking. There's some pretty good texture on the toilet paper. It does look so gross though, so gross. And we do have a random fly sitting on the screen right in the middle. And yeah, there you go. Sometimes we get the glimpse right here. It says eye poo. We're gonna super zoom in for you. Kitty editor, please zoom in so that the grains can see it closer. But I have to say, I really do like this one. It's a little bendy, but I'm pretty sure we can fix it easy. So far, we got a good mixture of both foods and items. And then here, what do we have? You are French fries. <coughs> Hang on, I need to drink. Yeah, that's so funny. We got the McMaggots French fries, which is pretty cool because I feel like now we have an entire burger and fry set, including the box. Again, if you want to watch that, watch that. I won't give too many spoilers, but we have some nicely shaded. They really put a lot of effort in shading these because in order to make them look gross, they have to be really nicely painted. So kudos on this job. And we have some worms over here and they are flexible over here. Voila. But the fries are not so flexible. And we have some ooze running all the way in the back. Nothing brings a frown to a face than McMaggot's unhappy meal. This is so funny. Again, feel free to pause if you want to read this. And even the non-nutritional information is absolutely hilarious. It's so gross. It, it makes my stomach turn, but at the same time, it makes me smile. And now we have the tiny one. It's gotta be a bottle of some sort. Oh, what is, what is that? Oh my goodness, is that the Tabasco? It's called Gasco. <laughs> well, you're gonna get fire from your butt if you drink too much of it. So this is supposed to be like a very popular hot sauce that is in North America and it's called Tabasco. I'm not a fan of it because it tastes more vinegary than actually flavorful hot, but here they are side by side. And this bottle is not necessarily gross. There's not too much detail on this entire thing. All we have is just a bit of a flame on top. It's not the most exciting to be very honest, but it is cute nonetheless. Let's get our pop. Yes. Here is our garbage bag. No, we have our sticker and the usual slime that we get in every box. And let's see, we have our three surprises in here. Oh my goodness, this one's a big one. Let's see what we have. And it is, ew, what is that? Oh, I think that's an extra moldy one. Hang on, I just got goosebumps. I think so, I'm not sure. Let me check the character guide. Oh, I think it is. 
I think it is. It looks extra moldy. I'm gonna sniff it in two seconds. But it is so moldy. Look at that. It's so moldy. The camera is having a hard time focusing on it, but it is gross on every single level. Look at that. Even the meat has turned fuzzy and even the worms look kind of like teeth. So it's like a monster. Look at that. Ew. Okay, I kind of want to sniff it because here it says find super rare moldy. So I think this is it. I think this is the extra moldy one. But let me check just in case. I think it is. Oh, I think so. Okay, I'm gonna sniff. It's supposed to smell bad. No. Okay, yeah. <coughs> You have to smell it from the side. Yeah, it's nasty. It doesn't smell like molded food. It smells more like industrial plastic, if that makes sense. Let me take another sniff. Yeah, it, sn it smells more like industrial plastic. Whereas these ones don't smell. I seriously can't believe we got a super rare one. Again, the smell is not like really gross like when you have Birdie Bot's jelly beans and you eat it and you know it's nasty. I think they went pretty mild on the scent, if I'm being very honest. And it's still a very plasticky feel. A little bit of a fuzzy feel on the top, but otherwise, I really like this. It's so gross. And you can see here it says bug bun, awful patty, maggot sauce, and larva cheese. Make maggots burger. That's awesome. And the logo is, I'm grubbing it. Feel free to pause again if you want to read in more detail, but let me bring it closer. It looks absolutely phenomenal. Again, the details. I can't stop thinking about these details. Great job. Seriously, Mini Brands, you did a great job on this. I'm really disappointed, the fact that they don't stink even more. And for any of you who want to say, but Jake, it's not supposed to stink. Stop it. It says right here, stinky rare. So they're supposed to stink but it just smells like more plastic as opposed to an actual mold, which I, I'm glad it's not. <laughs> I'm so happy we're getting so many different ones. What are you? No, that is awesome. We have a Colgate poop paste. That is gross. So we have a toothpaste that has poo coming out. I'm really curious how the YouTube algorithm is gonna enjoy all these keywords. What kind of video is this? We don't know where to classify it. New category, please. And here's what the toothpaste looks like. It says McCavity's poop paste, 40 hours of unfresh poop breath. Ew. Browner, unhealthier McCavity's, darkens and stains. And then we get the same thing in the back. Oh, what's that? Oh, I'm guessing this is this part here. So as you can see, we have the gross, they love adding those little worms everywhere. And those worms do be flexible. Look at that. But that's a really cool product too. I like this. Does it stand on its own? What? Look at it. Yeah, this looks really cute. This is really tiny, by the way. Here's my finger for measure. Just so you have an idea of what we're dealing with here. It is small and it sits really nicely too. Look at that. Very cute. Over here. <gasps> is that the Campbell's? What is this? Why am I getting all the good ones today? What the heck? We have the Scumballs Soup Zits. Ew, flavor you love. Cream of Pimple Puss, ew. Ew! You can see the ridges of the can. So it is a textured can over here. And the image is pretty nasty. And let's look at the top. I thought these were beans. I thought this can would have just basically beans on top. But now that I know what they are, this is even more gross. And here's what the can looks like opened up. This is absolutely phenomenal. Look at that. This is the cutest, grossest, tiny can ever. And we do have more shading over here. Again, if you want to see what it's written, we've just paused it for you right here. So we've zoomed in. You need to pause too, because there's just so much detail on these cans. It's so gross though. Absolutely gross. This is probably one of the best unboxings we've had of mini brands so far because we got an extra rare and the ones that I wanted. So let's see what else our luck brings us. Our pop. Yes. And what is that? Oh, cute. We have the Unhappy Meal logo. I'm not sure if it's the exact same logo as the Happy Meal, but here they are side by side, just in case. And I'm curious to see where this is going to be glow in the dark at the end of the video. And our slime. Let's get out our three surprises. One, two, three. This one here feels the biggest. This one's medium and this one's medium. So let's start with the biggest one first. 
Okay, a hot dog foot. And this one is called a foot long with real foot flavor. Absolutely disgusting. So if you don't like feet, go ahead and don't look and I will let you know when it's safe to look again. And here's what the foot looks like. It is gross. Like it has all these different things on the toes. You can see that there's like splinters and there's little wormies and even the bone and meat is kind of sticking out. Again, I feel like this is a really fun idea, especially around the Halloween time. So I wish the timing of this was a little different. And the side looks exactly the same. The back, oh, the back says toe jam relish, ew. And it says best in town gross. And again, feel free to pause to read the non-nutritional facts and it does say best before 1992, which is a really old expiry date. It's like 21 years old now. 31. 31! 31 years old! Oh my god! And this one is... Oh, I think I know what this one is. I think this is a double again. We have a Pickers! which is supposed to be a parody of Snickers, the chocolate bar. And this is supposed to mimic picking your nose because you got a finger with some boogers right on top. And I have to say that the details on this one are still pretty good, so we won't go through too much of the detail, but if you're curious, feel free to watch the other video. I mean, we had some really good ones so far. I'm really hoping the next ones are not just doubles. Please be different. Please be di- <clears throat> Is this the Doritos? Come on, I have goosebumps right now. Is this the Doritos? Oh no! What is my luck today? What the heck? What the shrimp? We basically got the ones I really wanted. No way! This is so cool. So here we have Goritos. And it is again the Doritos brand Toe Cheese Supreme. That is gross. I actually knew someone whose feet stank so badly, but at the same time, they smelled like Doritos. What? Don't ask. Sometimes people feet be stinky and has Doritos smell. Get it checked. That's all I gotta say. There's nothing wrong. Just get it checked. And it says includes traces of zombie feet. Very cute. Look at that. They're definitely dusted with cheese right on top. Okay, that is nasty. I'm not gonna read that part over there, but you can see what it says and it is really interesting tiny details. And the back also has some pretty funny information. So go ahead and pause again and read. Honestly, at this point, I would be really happy if we got the Pokemon, but if we don't get it, we still got quite a bit of interesting things, including a super rare, which I did not expect. So, this is our last one that we're opening today, which means we have to put our hands together and pray to the gross mini brand gods of Evermore. Dear mini gross brand gods of Evermore, please protect me from bleh doubles, bland designs, but also just give me the Pokemon. As usual, our pop, that one was less. And we have our garbage bag. I kind of got distracted because I saw the sticker, which is a new one. And this is called Sick Tax, which is supposed to be a mockery of Tic Tacs, which are tiny little mints that we have here in North America. Let me know in your country, do you have Tic Tacs or not? And the usual slime. Let's take out our three surprises. There they are. This one's really big though. Let's check out the bigger one and then we have two smaller ones. Now they don't feel like it's a Pokemon, but we'll see. And what? Oh my goodness. We have a pop figure and this one is called Fardo Pop instead of Funko Pop. So let's put a Funko Pop box and random character side by side to this one. And they're basically tiny collectibles of figurines that you can get from different kinds of fandoms, your favorite movies, and so on and so forth. And this one is Fardo Pop Turdy. And there's a toilet paper stuck on it? No, this is a cute box. And even has details in the back here. Again, feel free to pause to read. And you know what? I really wanna take this out. So let's take it out of the box. So here we have a little top. And we take out our character, and look at it! If that ain't the cutest poo ever, I don't know what is. What does it say on here? Nothing. I don't think it says anything. It's just the toilet paper stuck. And even has the little things that hold the character. That is cute. That is really, really cute. And we're gonna put it back in the box so none of you yell at me. Okay, I'm keeping the collectible. And voila! In you go your box. Next we have, oh, we have our first double within this unboxing, which actually means we have a triple of this one. And last but not least, what do we have? 
What are you? What is that? Bunch Pulloons, fill and tie. I don't know what these are. That's the first squishy item we get. That is so random. If anyone knows what these are, actually, kitty editor, can you find out what these are supposed to be and educate us, please? Thank you, kitty editor. So here we have 100 balloons in 60 seconds. Three bunches included. Okay. So I guess you fill it with... Ew! You have to fill it with the poo! That's nasty. Throw and then splash. This person's a little too happy. I'm pretty sure there's a word for this. <laughs> Listen, I'm not shaming. I'm just saying there's a word for this. And feel free to pause and read. All right, so it's been 48 hours. Let's go ahead and check on the condition of the slime. Yeah. Seems pretty good, so you can keep the box as a container. And as promised, here are the stickers in Glow in the Dark. Here's the Bug King. This is the Six Axe. Six Axe, sorry. <laughs> here we have the Goritos. And last but not least, we have the Unhappy Meal. These do glow in the dark pretty good, but remember they have to be in sunlight in order to glow better. Another reminder that a portion of today's video is sponsored by Dragon City, a place where you can hatch, evolve, and look after your own dragons. Here is everything we got in today's unboxings. I have to say, despite the fact that we didn't get the Pokemon, I'm really happy with this unboxing. It is very different from the first video. So if you watch the first video and then watch this one, they are completely different vibes. If you want to watch that video, make sure you click up here. If you want to watch something a little different, make sure you click down here. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.